Hi everyone, Stock Price Predictions here, and do we have a story for you. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and when you subscribe, you'll have a chance to win a PS5. Don't miss out on it. I'm not only giving a one PS5 away, I'm giving out multiple PS5s away. So hit that subscribe button. As soon as we reach a thousand subscribers, I'm giving out a PS5 to a lucky subscriber. So don't miss your chance. Also hit that notification bell so you can see the videos first whenever I post them, which are multiple videos every day. You don't want to miss out. It will help you with making money in the stock market and showing you what to invest in, what not to invest in. Now remember, I'm not a financial advisor, so take everything that I say with a grain of salt and only invest what you're willing to lose. I'm just here to help you guys out. I'm not a professional, but maybe I can save you guys some research. Wow, so today, today's a crazy day in the stock market. We are really down today. What's everyone doing? Panic selling? Should we panic sell? No, I don't think so. We're not panic selling unless it's for an emergency. We are holding long term. We don't care what happens today. We don't care what happens tomorrow. We are holding for years. But let's talk about today and what is going on. Now, remember, last week, last Monday, the same thing happened. We had a huge sell-off last Monday but after last Monday the market recovered and everyone that was holding and didn't panic sell were very happy because even though today it dropped low today's lower today's lows are higher than last Monday's lows so we're still above where we were last Monday on that huge drop today was a huge drop too but from last week Tuesday through Friday we our money grew our stocks grew so today, even though they went down hard, we are still up from last week. So remember, that's why we hold. We only panic sell for when we need to. Okay, so today has been crazy. I wanna go over a few things that's happening in the world that's making today a bad day in the stock market. The China market, the China stock market is down 5%. That's huge. They're the second largest stock market in the world. When they're down 5%, it affects everyone. It affects the world. It affects the whole stock, everyone's stock market from every country. So remember, China is down 5%. Okay, so that's a, having a huge effect today on the U.S. stock market and all the stock markets around the world. So remember, China is down 5%. Another thing going on with the stock market that's causing huge sales is COVID, the spread of COVID. The spread of COVID is coming back and it's all over the United States it's all over the world again so with the spread of COVID the fear of COVID that's another reason why the stock market is down today now with also with the fear of COVID it's also affecting the housing market um, within a year the housing market has blew up into a huge bubble the prices are crazy their prices are sky high in the housing market but people are getting back to COVID People are getting scared, they're getting threatened. So what goes first, the stock market is gonna go first. Then the housing is gonna follow and everything else is gonna follow. So let's see how COVID plays out. Let's hope it doesn't affect the stock market like it did earlier this year. Let's hope it doesn't affect the stock market like it did last year with that crash that we had. So let's just hope that today was just a bad day and everything will recover, which I'm sure it will just like last Monday. And as I was doing my research, I was checking the stock market and the stock market is starting to recover. Everything has sold off, it started consolidating and we are starting to build back up. So there's nothing to worry about. If you check the market, everything is looking good and it's all coming back up. Now, I wanna go over some of the lowest lows we had today in some of our favorite stocks. Scary, okay? I'm gonna start off with the index funds. The index funds were down on an average, I checked out four or five of them, and this is just an average. This index funds were down 1.2% on an average. That was their lowest up to date. That's huge for an index fund. In an index fund to fall 1.2% is a lot. It takes a long time for index funds to build up. Well, they just don't build up as fast as stocks. So when they take a big dive like that, it's hard for them to catch back up, but they will catch back up because we've seen them do it before. So they fell 1.2% today, tomorrow they grow 1.5, the next day they go up another percent. We are looking good. Okay, let's get into Tesla. 
Tesla is down 1.5%. Their earnings came out yesterday and they had record high numbers for their earnings. Why are they down 1.5% today? Well, that's just because that's what happens sometimes even on great earning days. That's what I want to know. Why does it go down? Why? Well, there's no reason other than people selling. Even though the whole stock market was down, I guess it's understandable. But you would think good earnings, great earnings, Tesla would have skyrocketed. Yesterday after hours, it did get up to 2.5%, but by the time the market opened this morning, it was only up 1%. And now it's down 1.5%. So my second EV stock that we're looking at today is NEO. NEO fell to 10.5% today and it was trading at $38 and some change. That's crazy. That's so bad. Why is NEO falling? Hmm, that sucks. I have a lot invested in NEO. Stop falling. But I'll tell you why. It's because it's a Chinese stock, it's a Chinese company. And you know what? COVID's getting very bad in China, causing the panic, causing panic selling. So with that happening with China, oh, NEO's gonna be down. So what do we do in this situation with NEO being down so much? Stock goes down 10%, what do we do? It went down 10%, so we buy. So when it goes back up, we go up 10% and we ride up with it. So, you know, there's lots of rumors of delisting, which is not gonna happen with NEO. Um, so just stay in there and hold hold on tight and just hold um, but ten and a half percent today oh man that sucks mm. okay so let's talk about the meme stocks one of your favorites GME was down 3.8 percent today another one of well the most favorite meme stock was AMC it was down to seven percent today I'm surprised they didn't drop it down to ten percent today but you know what they didn't drop it down to ten percent today why because tomorrow they can short sell it and possibly get it down to 10% or even more. So now that they didn't get drop it to 10%, AMC will not be on the short sell restriction list tomorrow and they can continue to short sell it all they want and do that illegal crap activity that they should be in jail for. Okay? So, Facebook, Facebook, one of my favorites. It is down it was down 2% today. It dropped 2%. That's a lot for a growth stock in one day, but it can pick back up. It's, um, now you know what, the earnings for Facebook are tomorrow. And with that being said, the last earnings report on Facebook were good. And after our earnings in Facebook, the price skyrocketed. Oh, I loved it. I was so happy. Up, up, up. We were making money. We loved it. So let's hope that repeats tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow afternoon is the earnings report. Let's see what happens. I think it will be good. Facebook, Instagram have been doing great. Best social media platforms. So let's see. Apple has been on a great run this last month, month or two. Okay, they were down 2% today, Apple was. Now, something scary going on with Apple. We have our earnings report today. Why is that scary? Well, even if we make great numbers and have a great earnings report, the price may still fall. Just like this is what happened on the last earnings report. It made me so mad. Why? Why did it fall? Apple, why did it fall? Great numbers. I think it was record numbers, if I'm not mistaken. They have a trillion dollars on cash. They have more cash than any company in the U.S. on hand, ready to invest, ready to spend, ready to build things. They're coming out with an Apple car. So today will be scary after hours um, when the earnings report is. I don't even want to watch it. I don't even want to see what's going to happen with it. Um, it went down after the last earnings report. And then it, the last two months, it finally picked back up. So let's just hope that that doesn't happen. Let's just hope that we don't lose everything that we have gained in the last two months. I'd rather have a bad earnings report and drive the stock up because that happens a lot. So let's see. You know, last time Facebook had great earnings report, the price, the stock skyrocketed. Last time Apple had bad earnings report, Apple fell. So just don't know. I mean, anything can affect the stock market. We just do our best research to try to study it, do our research, look, to, look at the technicals and look at all the data we can, see what happens. You know, it's all we can do. Google was down 2.7% today. Google has been on a great run the last couple months. Even the last week, it's been doing really well. Um, so down 2.7%. Hopefully it'll pick back up. 
and let's see what happens with it. It should pick back up. There's no negative news on it. It's a great company. Lots of people hold it. It's one of the most held stocks in the U.S. stock market. So Google should bounce back and it should bounce back really soon. Now, remember, today is just like what happened last Monday. Last Monday, we dropped hard. Tuesday through Friday, we picked up and we had a great week, a green week overall and made some money. So today, let's not panic sell. Um, let's hope for a great recovery for the rest of the week and we should have a great recovery for the rest of the week. Okay, so please leave me some comments. Let me know what y'all think about what happened with the stock market today. What are your favorite stocks? Why are they your favorite stocks? Okay, so let me know your opinions in the comment section. I want to talk to you guys. Let's teach each other some things about the stock market and try to help uh, make some money with each other. Um, not a financial advisor, so do your own research. Take everything that I say with a grain of salt. Also, don't forget, once you subscribe, you'll have your chance to win that PS5. I'll be giving away multiple PS5, so don't miss your chance. Let's hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, and I will be shipping out a PS5 to one of my random subscribers, so do not miss your chance. Okay, also like the video, hit the notification bell so you can see it first. I want you guys to have a good, great rest of the day, and remember, don't panic sell. The market will recover. It always does. Look at the bigger picture. All right, I'm going to be back on here later with the earnings report from Apple. I'm going to talk more about AMC, the whole stock market in general, some index funds, and also about Google because their earnings report is today. Facebook's earnings report is tomorrow, and I'll definitely be making videos on that. So thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to make some, do some more research. I'm going to uh, give it to you guys later. Thanks.